In the yesterday's audio reflection, I spoke about how goodness should flow from our heart, which is not restricted to the rules, to the regulations, but needs to go beyond that. And that's what our faith in God is about. It's not just standing for the rules or obeying the rules, but there is much beyond the rules that is put in our hearts. Yesterday we saw how Jesus makes them aware that their life should be beyond others, that their goodness should be beyond others. And in today's Gospel, once again, He gives this challenging teaching. Jesus wasn't interested to make you an ordinary person. He was interested to make you the best person, the best of the human virtues embossed in you. Today He says, not just loving your loved ones, you need to love your enemies as well. You need to pray for those who persecute you and who are there all out to make your life difficult. Now to get into that stage, that very difficult stage, we need to make the habit of constantly doing good, of constantly reaching out to our loved ones, being nice to them. Then at the second level, it would be to the people we don't know, just reaching out. Check this other video that is being posted from the news clip. It speaks of how human heart works, how there is something godly in our human heart that makes us to reach out to someone we don't know. And unless and until we constantly make efforts to reach out to our loved ones, to reach out to strangers and to the people we don't know, we are not going to reach out to the people who are completely against us, who are our enemies, who are making our life difficult. Those are the gradual changes. It's like if you don't go that one mile, you can't go beyond. And the teachings of Jesus are constantly pushing us for that beyond. And in order to get that beyond, easy going in our lives. We need to constantly try these easy ones first. And Jesus says, if you love only those who love you, if you greet only those who greet you, what good is there in you in comparison to others? Or how much better you are in comparison to others? So make that habit of constantly following your heart, of constantly trying to be for the other of constantly trying to be good to the other, to your loved ones, to the people you don't know at all, and then it will make you to reach out even to your enemies. We all may have enemies. Our own spouses could be those who persecute us. Maybe someone from our family who makes our life difficult. Have you ever prayed for them? We know, we understand that they are the cause of our difficult journey. But did you give any time to pray for them? Or how much do you remember them in your prayer every day? So if you are not praying for them to be good, to overcome their evil, how would they be good? And Jesus gives the example of the sun. As the sun gives light to everybody, to the good and bad alike, he asks us, be like God, who is good to everybody. Whether someone is good or someone is bad, His love is toward everyone. To reach out to others, it is difficult. It cannot happen unless and until we practice. We need to constantly practice it in our lives in order to reach that stage which Jesus asks of us today. So practice every day. Look out for ways and means to reach out to others. Let us try to be good, loving to everybody and pray for those who persecute you and make your life difficult.